this SEO success story is about a Netherlands-based startup called Smack Genot. That's all about eco-friendly and socially responsible food shopping. Sustainable producers from across the world can offer their products with their exclusive stores within the marketplace to consumers who care about high quality and environmentally friendly foods. The objective grow website traffic and brand awareness for products that were high in demand and bring in maximum revenues quickly. Combine advertising with SEO and boost organic traffic. The results. Over the course of one year, Smackgenot achieved huge improvements in its site traffic and revenues a 257% increase in site traffic, a 230% increase in revenue, 100% increase in the number of keywords in Google's top 10, decrease in acquisition costs. Now that is one hell of an e-commerce success story. Here's a quick look at their current traffic metrics. The SEO strategies. The key SEO strategy that the team used was to find keywords with high volume that could potentially generate huge website traffic. Then the team used a topic cluster model specifically for product pages. They created their product pages as pillar pages or topical targeting the high volume keywords and vendor pages as cluster pages using related keywords with low difficulty. Market research. Smackgenot knew that to understand the demand for products, they had to consider seasonality in the food industry, as customers have different preferences in the summer compared to winter. To identify key seasonal trends, the team used SEMrush traffic analytics to analyze traffic patterns of larger food chains and product pages. Analyze competition traffic sources. The key goal was to understand the traffic generation strategies of the competition. For this, the team first used SEMrush Keyword Overview for seed keywords and checked who was ranking in the top 10 positions in the SERP. They then used the SEMrush Traffic Analytics tool for these domains to get an idea of the traffic generation channels for their competitors. They realized that organic traffic was key to winning so they started focusing on this channel. Keyword research. The next step was to select target keywords. The team analyzed each competitor using SEMrush organic research to see which keywords these brands were getting the maximum traffic from. This gave the team an idea of which kinds of keywords they should focus on to get their traffic as well. Create topic clusters for product pages. To compete against larger supermarket chains in the Dutch market, Smackgenot decided to focus on directing traffic to their product category pages rather than individual seller pages. The team realized that their audience was interested in the origin of their food. So they made their product descriptions almost like pillar pages with background stories, fun facts, environmental footprint, producer details, and other information about the products that would interest their audience. The pillar pages are linked to the vendor pages where the audience could actually buy the food. They used SEMrush keyword magic tool to only select keywords with high volume as that would drive the revenue and targeted these keywords for their pillar product pages. Target featured snippets. Since the business was in an industry where the audience had lots of questions, one SEO strategy that the business implemented was to target questions that people were asking on a topic and answer them with FAQ schemas. This would increase the chances of them getting featured snippets for these keywords. Simultaneous link building and traffic generation. The business had limited resources and didn't have the time to explore link building from various sites. So they decided to combine link building and traffic generation. They used the SEMrush backlinks analytical tool to analyze which of the referring domains had the highest traffic and authority. They targeted these domains specifically because links from them would help both the SEO of Smackgenot and increase referral traffic. 
Smackernot has consistently been able to improve its organic traffic and its e-commerce business by slowly and steadily following SEO methods specific to its business. Instead of simply creating basic product descriptions, it used the power of keywords and content marketing to turn its product pages into huge traffic acquisition pages. These high traffic pages passed on the traffic juice to commercial and money pages, driving conversions up. Now Smackernot has become a stable business and is constantly adding new products to its portfolio and also considering expanding into new markets. Learnings and conclusion. Each SEO success story and case study is unique. However, there are some common factors that can help you achieve your own SEO and sales success story. These are some of the SEO steps that you must do. Identify specific goals. Know your audience in detail. Prioritize keywords that can drive sales, not just traffic. Use long tail keywords and create topic clusters. Research your competitors to gain insight into their strategies. Create SEO friendly content that's relevant to your audience. Answer questions asked by your audience. Optimize your content and web pages. Ensure technical SEO. Build high quality links. This SEO success story is proof that SEO does indeed help boost sales even for small businesses. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more essential videos. If you want our team to help you with your marketing, why not contact our digital marketing agency, absolutemedia.uk. You can get a free consultation and take the first steps into launching your traffic to the next level. All details are in the description below.